But Stone gets the rock. He sets his shot. He shoots! Oh! Oh. Oh, boy. Boy, Miss Stone, what a pleasant surprise. Oh. What happened here? That's what I'd like to know. Well, I'll get someone to fix it. Oh, Miss Stone? Before you go, there's something bothering me about this new system we're putting in here. Oh? Yeah, I mean, I don't pretend to understand it all, but wouldn't this thing put a lot of my guys out of work? How would I know? I'm just a little old secretary. Are you kidding me? You're smart. I mean, I could tell that right off. There's a lot more to you than you. There, uh, you, I mean. Thank you. Mr. Finstone? I sure hope I didn't get you into too much trouble with your wife the other day. Nah, Wilma always forgives me. She knows I love her. And you do, don't you? Are you kidding? I'll never forget the first time I met her. She was working at a restaurant, and I won this all-you-can-eat contest, and she was the one to clean me off. Every night I go home and I look at her and I think, what is a beautiful woman like that doing with a big glue like me? I think I know. Where have you been? With Fred. I mean, Mr. Flintstone. I'm worried, Cliff. He's smarter than we thought. <laughs> He'd have to be to get himself dressed in the morning. He's been asking a lot of questions. I think we should just call the whole thing off. No. No, I've got a better idea. Why don't we turn ourselves in, then we can rot in jail until the polls freeze over. I was just thinking... Stick to your strengths, Miss Stone. And I'll stick to mine. Besides, if Mr. Flintstone insists on being so conscientious, Perhaps we can give Fred something to take his mind off work.